హలో అస్పిరెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు లాక్సలెన్సెస్ అకాడమీ రీసెంట్లీ ఫైనాన్స్ మినిస్టర్ నిర్మలా సీతారామన్ అనౌన్స్డ్ న్యూక్లియర్ ఎనర్జీ మిషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో అలాకేటెడ్ ట్వంటీ థౌజండ్ క్రో ఫర్ దిస్ పర్టికులర్ మిషన్ ఇన్ దిస్ కంటెక్స్ట్ విల్ డిస్కస్ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ న్యూక్లియర్ ఎనర్జీ మిషన్ అండ్ ఆల్సో విల్ లుక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫ్యాక్ట్స్ అబౌట్ స్మాల్ మోడ్యులర్ రియాక్టర్స్ దట్ ఇస్ బిగిన్ ద న్యూక్లియర్ ఎనర్జీ మిషన్ సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ allocated 20000 crore for this particular mission this nuclear energy mission was launched recently with the aim of studying of small modular reactors means the research should be done on small modular reactors in the country this is the first objective of the nuclear energy mission and second is that after conducting research and studying about small nuclear reactors we should commission at least five small modular reactors in the country by 2033 means from 2025 to 2033 in this eight eight year period we should commission at least five small modular reactors in the country this is the second objective and third objective with respect to nuclear energy mission is that central government for the first time want to allow private players private bodies to build and also operate the nuclear reactors in the country means till now the nuclear energy production was the exclusive domain of central government from now central government want to allow private players to build and operate the nuclear reactors in the country in order to make this central government to allow amend two particular laws in the country one is that atomic energy act of 1962 and second one is that civil liability for nuclear damage act central government want to amend these particular laws to make that private players are including themselves in building and operating the nuclear reactors in the country but what are the small modular reactors because of these small modular reactors the nuclear energy mission was launched in recently the small modular reactors as name denotes they are very small how much small the energy produced in small modular reactors is below than 300 mega according to international energy agency international energy agency classifies small modular reactors below 300 megawatt these small modular reactors are gaining much importance in the international community because of some reasons the main reason is that they are very flexible to build flexible to build how flexible you can ask the flexible means the different parts of the small module reactors can be commissioned somewhere else they can be transported to on site and the whole small module reactors can be commissioned somewhere else they can be trans transported to the particular site because of that flexibility they are gaining much importance in the international community and second one is that they are also easier to build easier to build easier to build and third one is that they are also cheaper one to build means the cost incurred by the small modular reactor is very much low compared to the normal reactors which we are building and operating currently and fourth one is that small modular reactors are also much scalable in nature means they can be built built in a very short period of time and also they can be built multiple small modular reactors can be built in a short short period of time right so we are taking so much time to build one regular nuclear reactor in the country so small modular reactor can be built in a very span period of time and however the small modular reactors are also having some of the drawbacks what are those drawbacks the first one drawback is that they are in the still still in a research stage research stage means not even a single small modular reactor has been commissioned anywhere else in the world they are in a still researching stage many of the countries conducting research among, about small modular reactors to build and operate them and second one is that the small modular reactors required low quality uranium low quality uranium compared to regular reactors means the uranium 238 is enriched to make that the uranium 235 concentration can be increased 
so that they can be used in a regular reactors. This particular enrichment very low compared to very low in small modular reactors compared to normal reactors. Because of this repeated refueling will be needed in case of small modular reactors. These are the major drawbacks with respect to small modular reactors. However, the drawbacks are much more less compared to the strengths of the small modular reactors. Because of this, the international community including developed countries uh, to meet their energy demand, they are conducting research among the small modular reactors. Even India want to be a pioneer in nuclear energy uh, production. So, in order to make that, recently in budget of 20,000 crore was allocated to this particular nuclear energy mission.